Hi, good evening, everyone. Welcome to our third episode of Highlights. So this time we'll again highlight stories from our unificationist community, what young people did, experienced, what we did, experienced, and yeah, how how we're doing on, on our path of faith and development in, and engagement in this movement. Of course, uh, the focus of our session tonight is the Berlin Peace Road event. A lot of people came there. We had a variety and a very broad spectrum of stuff we could do in Berlin that we did together, and many experiences were gathered. And let's invite first up, the first person that I want to invite up is Vika Kalvatska. 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 That's it. She, as as her name tells, she's from Poland and 21 years old. And actually right now in the Glanov Workshop Center, Workshop Center preparing for the upcoming, what is it? Central East sort of workshop, uh, summer workshop going on there. Vika, you were part of the mobilization team in Berlin. How, how was that? Hi, yes. hi to Glanov. Oh, hi. <laughs> yes, saying hi from Glanov. Um, anyway, so hi everyone, my name is Vika, I'm from Poland, as it was already mentioned. And yes, I was part of uh, the BMT, which is Berlin Mobilization Team. And yeah, actually, um, how did I even end up in that team? So I saw the message on the youth group that we are um, yeah, meant to come. Uh, I'm, they are looking for people to help with preparations. So I wasn't really convinced, uh, to be honest. Um, because I was working, so I thought, oh, I'm too busy. I was interested, but I thought I'm too busy. Uh, but then Miki Lahak, he texted me personally. And so I was a bit more convinced, but still I wasn't really sure because I was, you know, still working, even though I was working online. But in the end, I decided to come. And I felt like uh, it was like the best decision I made, actually. Uh, why is that? Because I really felt like through that, I could like do something substantial for God and for true parents too because I feel like it's been a while since I have done something for them. And so it was really nice mm -hmm. to like experience that and really like grow closer with the team there, but also, yeah, being just part of the team that helps with preparations is really like really amazing. And I yeah also haven't experienced that in a while. So uh, I felt that was really something that we could offer to God, even though sometimes it felt like maybe we weren't doing as much for me. Sometimes it felt like it still, I feel it was a really good offering to God and to parents as well. Mm. So yeah. What, so basically, what did you do as the mobilization team? Yes. Yeah, so as the mobilization team, for the first week, we were setting spiritual foundation by doing conditions. So we had a bowing condition, 40 bows condition. Mm -hmm. And then we also did a prayer walk, actually. A prayer walk uh, on the like in the places where the event was happening. And yeah, it was quite powerful um, to do that, especially praying for each place, praying for the safety. So we did that all together. Uh, yeah. And also, yeah, we also did a bike tour as well because we were meant to lead. Uh, we didn't end up doing all the bike tour, sadly, because we didn't have much time. But um, that was also really, really good to experience too uh, as well. Yeah. Even though I wasn't that comfortable with riding on a bike. But you're surely now, you're, Probably not an expert. Um, but I think the fact that we were all working guide. together. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to think so, yes. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I, I do enjoy riding a bike now. So, uh, But just one last thing is that, yeah, just working together as a team towards this one goal, that was really, really nice. And uniting together, which was something also that we prayed about um, in our condition, to have that team unity, but also mm -hmm. for the uh, people in Berlin to, like, to share the vision of true parents with the people in Berlin, but also inherit the spirit of Hyozin and all the other first gens who were there uh, when the Berlin Wall still existed and they were praying for the wall to break down. So those were the main goals, yes, for um, for the conditions actually that we did. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. So now, so you were part of this preparation period, right? So mm -hmm. you... You could see you probably had some images in your head how it would be yeah. then was there anything that surprised you when when the events and actually happened was there something that stood out for you or what's the what did stand out for you mm, okay so it was definitely quite different actually from 
I think if I only just came for the event, I would receive it differently than actually preparing for the event and then the event happening. So it was a, like a different perspective, I feel, which was also a new experience for me. And uh, yeah, it was really, really nice actually to finally see it happen because we've worked the whole like along the one week actually to yeah pray for all the events, pray for the, for everything. As, and yeah, to finally see it happen. And also we, uh, we did some banners as well together. So also to see them there, people holding them and marching together. It was really, I would say it was actually satisfying. Yeah. And <laughs> I was really happy to lead uh, the bike tour as well, even though it was a shorter version. Um, yeah. That was also really, really nice as well. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if something surprised me, but I guess maybe I can share about something that surprised me or something that was really like a nice surprise to me. Mm -hmm. It was uh, during the IOSP conference, actually. There was this one girl, she was my age, actually, from India. And she was really, um, I could see she was really passionate about peace. And she was speaking a bit from like political point of view, as far as I remember. But I felt like, okay, she, like she's my age and she's like speaking so out of her heart and like, I don't know. I just felt inspired that I can also do something like that in a sense. Like I'm not just like a Vika, small Vika from Poland who like cannot do anything, but I actually can also have a voice in peace. Um, so that was really inspiring. When I when she said she's 22, I was like, what? <laughs> How? <laughs> so yeah, I think that's something that was the most like surprise, like nice surprise. Yeah, mm -hmm, to me, mm -hmm. during the event. Yeah. Wow, that's. That's great, great. Happy to hear that. So we you have we had like this this very very different aspects of of the program. And anyway, it's it's nice that you experienced that because this was actually our goal putting that session together. <laughs> that the yeah that the young mm -hmm. people in the audience can have such such sort of moments. And it's very happy that it worked. Yeah. Um, yeah. So because yeah, there there actually is much much more that we we can do when we have the confidence to, mm. to to step up and as you said something something that we are really passionate about what now so the this whole rally had different themes right peace in korea ukraine uh connecting with the past hyojinim and so on which one of these aspects were you most passionate about or now in now kind of looking back and reflecting mm -hmm. on it mm -hmm. Hmm. Most passionate about. Mm. So we actually, I didn't know so much about the Berlin Wall and about, I heard about Hyodin in praying, but it wasn't very, like, I never really clear. But um, we watched a speech uh, from Hyodin uh, at the Berlin Wall uh, with my team twice, actually. And it was really good to learn more about it because, as I said, I came and I, I didn't really know much, actually, to be honest. Um, but I think, yeah, just listening to him and how determined he was, but also actually something he said in the in that um, pray or in that speech that he gave. Uh, sorry, can you hear the background sound? Okay, no. good. Uh, yeah, so he said that. Um, there is space in God's heart, even for those people who accuse us. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know, just like the heart he had or how he understood, okay, this is God's heart. There's room for everyone. So even those people who, like, even those who created the wall, like, even for those people, God has love. And so that was really, really inspiring, I think. And it's always inspiring for me just how great God's love is or, like, how big is his heart to, like, love everyone, even though those people also give him pain as well because they give pain to his children. So maybe kind of inherent that kind of attitude. Yeah, I think maybe that was something I, I really, in a sense, I was passionate about, I guess you could say. Yeah. Uh, but are we speaking already about the takeaways as well? Yeah, yeah, you can okay. talk about the takeaways, the no either noodles or... Okay. Yeah. So sorry, actually, sorry that, that that one was flat. It re didn't work. It didn't oh, work. I didn't understand. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you can tell me later because I didn't get it. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I will write. I will write an explanation about my joke. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Actually, I had a few takeaways from this time as well. 
so answering also what was up was what I was passionate about or like what I found really uh really beautiful which is something I already mentioned maybe some of you already heard but it was when we had like this symbolic reconciliation of countries and continents after the UPF and IOSP conference I feel like the people who did that did it very sincerely and they, they had like some text written down what to say to the other to the person representing some country or a continent and I found it really really beautiful and like just imagining how yeah God could feel it if this happened like if I'm feeling moved by this then how God would feel moved by this like how much like kind of friendship or you can say brotherhood was actually like the brotherhood was kind of like well wait let me let me get my words I feel like um I was really showing how they can become brothers or sisters those countries and continents and like the forgiveness um that was there was just like really removing really so I actually cried then because uh, yeah I just felt that God would be really joyful and happy to see that so that was something I was also really happy to see and very um, inspired as well yeah uh so connecting that to that question but actually yeah uh, something that was uh, happening behind the scenes that I could see because I was part of BMT uh there were two people uh that were working really hard um actually behind the scenes uh, I'll tell their names just to yeah um yeah so it's uncle Ahim Pok and then also Miki Lahog um like I feel like um it's something related to also what Miki shared during his testimony at the youth gathering so he shared that um when you receive a calling from God then no matter like how you you may feel like not um like not enough like to receive that calling and that's what he kind of did like even if it's hard you just like keep going with that calling. And he also mentioned Uncle Ahimbok. And I could see that because he was doing so, so much. And it was really inspiring because they, and maybe not around me, but they never really complained at all. And they always kept their smiles. They were like positive or they had positive thinking about like doing all the activities. So that was really inspiring for me because I sometimes, I, I tend to complain a lot. And like, if something comes at me, it's hard. And like, even like, I don't know, I'm taking care of second gens, but it's not really working well. So I would like complain kind of thing. So, so it really inspired me to just keep the same attitude and to really just keep going. So actually seeing them both working so like amazingly for this was so like, like I'm so grateful for this. So it's actually one of the reasons why I, I think coming to or joining the Berlin mobilization team was one of the best decisions because I could see them working for God and really having that um yeah inspiration within themselves mm -hmm. even though it was really hard so that was actually one of the takeaways from berlin uh which is kind of maybe not something that I'd, other people would expect but um yeah something really precious to me actually yeah i think i'm speaking too much already so if it's <laughs> yeah, thank you thank you vika that that was that was great thank you okay. for, thank you for sharing that thank you so much let's let's send vika off with a, a nice virtual applause thank you thank you also for your work and stepping up and stepping in in berlin 